morality. That's a big one. It's a big subject, it's a big topic, and of course, right off the bat, it raises the question of nature versus nurture. Are human beings innately moral animals? Do we have an intrinsic sense of right and wrong? Is that innate? Or is morality taught? Are we born blank slates that need to be molded? Are we compassionate beings or are we selfish beings? Philosophers have been battling on this forever. Moral behavior can be influenced by our interactions with other people. But again, other people say, you know, some people are just born that way. Ultimately, maybe neuroscience will figure it out or maybe we'll find that it's kind of a dance between the two. Maybe we find that we're born with a certain disposition for a certain kind of behavior and then it can be kind of directed based on how our society so socializes us, and maybe we do need to get into the game of social engineering using feedback loops to change behavior. There was a Wired Magazine cover story about feedback loops that was saying the best way to get people not to speed on the highway is not to pull them over with a cop every five minutes, but to put one of those digital screens that tells them your speed. And it turns out that just the feedback, just being told what you're doing, being fed back that information changes behavior. That is how social engineering works. That is how feedback loops work. And that is how we need to design our urban social universes to become the best versions of ourselves.